Hey there, Tea Time with Tea. Let's have a little conversation. Let's start with Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo. The fact that everyone seems to be trying to pile in on, pile in on him, not just the Republicans, but the Democrats as well. Here's the problem with that. Last year, when the pandemic was beginning, governors were not briefed about what was going on for almost a month. Before that, early January, the administration was briefed. The president personally was told, and the vice president, it was going to be deadly. It was going to be highly contagious. And this could be a true pandemic. They were advised. They knew about it. They blew it off. They said it was just, just the flu. No worse than the flu. Mind you, the governors were not advised. In the heat of things, when governors reached out and said they needed this, they needed this, they were told, that's your problem. You handle it. When they finally sent military medical ships to New York, strict rules were put in place. People, if you, if you were in a car accident, had a heart attack, a stroke, you could not go there. You, they would not act as that type of overflow. Cuomo did the best he could with what he knew at the time. Did he know it was highly contagious? Hell no. No one told him. Did he pull strings to send people he thought were not sick enough to be in the hospital to state nursing homes, to some private nursing homes? Yes, he did. Did he do so fully informed? No, he didn't. So, was it a fuck up? Absolutely. Was it done maliciously? No. So, since that didn't fire quite enough problems up, I believe we're up to five or six women who come forward and said, well, he sexually harassed me. He asked to kiss me. Going back how long? Going back to when? Is someone filing actual lawsuit or solid complaints, or are they just commenting? I'm still not clear about that. Because if they're actually filing a complaint, filing some kind of lawsuit, then I see this going on. But this is giving me flashbacks to Al Franken. Al Franken had the same thing due to photographs that were taken before he ran for office, before he had any political standing. And Democrats turned on him, Gillibrand, de Blasio. Yes. Democrats ate their own. And at the end of it, when he left and stepped down, Suddenly, everything went poof. No lawsuit was ever filed. No formal complaints were ever filed. It was all innuendo. And here we are with Cuomo. So, again, things that happened not last year, not in the last six months. We're still not getting the exact year when this happened on the record. We're not getting any suits being filed in a court of law. Complaints, yes. But are you filing something? If you're not, then why is this coming up now? Could it be the fact that he basically went head-to-head -head with the previous administration? He called them. He 
called a spade a spade. He didn't pull his punches, and they didn't like that. Could that be it? Just saying. But one thing is true. Democrats need to learn how to keep their mouths shut. Because the Republicans tried this with Gavin Newsom. Because he went out to dinner during the pandemic. There were about six people at the desk. They were not at the desk. They were not wearing masks. And they tried to slander him for that. For not following his own advice. He admitted, yes, you're right. I did not. I was wrong. And they eventually had to back down. But not before when the Republicans threw that red meat out there. A few Democrats decided they wanted to speak up and maybe he should be recalled. Democrats need to learn how to keep their mouths shut. Because if a Republican's caught in a bathroom with a man having sex, if they're caught stalking a 16-year-old trying to have sex, if they're robbing a charity, if they're lying about something, false valor, that they were about to join the military, but the truth is they were rejected. The first words that will come out of a Republican's mouth is, I sought advice of my religious priest. My diocese is supporting me through this difficult times. Franklin Graham standing around with his pants unbuttoned and a woman with her pants unbuttoned with an alcoholic beverage in his hand sitting in the room while his wife is getting her rocks off and then turns around and blames her. She led me into it. Republicans will ignore and make any freaking excuse Right down to the point of, I've repented. Democrats will turn on their own, while Republicans will cover. You know, all these years, they walked by when people asked and reporters asked, did you see that tweet Trump put out? Wasn't that a bit brisk? Wasn't that bullying? That tweet that he put out? What he said yesterday in the Rose Garden, wasn't that outright bullying? To a one, Republicans will say, I didn't see it. I haven't had a chance to, to look at it. I haven't been brought up to speed. I haven't had a chance. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see. I, I, no one has told me that. Deny, 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 defend, defend, defend. Democrats are rallying around to try to throw Cuomo under the bus. De Blasio, shut up. Gillibrand, shut up. AOC, shut up. Chuck Schumer, the only thing that should be coming out of anyone's mouth should be. We are waiting for the investigation to be completed. We will be updated once the investigation is completed. I don't care how many women's names they throw out there. I don't care how many nursing homes. Your mantra should be, we are waiting for the investigation to be completed. Do you think he should resign? We are waiting for the investigation to be completed. Full stop. Take a few hints from the Republicans. Shut your mouth. I did not see it. I did not hear it. I am not aware of that. Because there's a reason why Republicans are remaining silent right now. You're doing their work for them. Why should they say a word? McConnell is quite happy with you going after Cuomo. Gillibrand, I know you'd like to be governor. de Blasio, I know you'd like to be governor.
We see you. Shut up. I've about had it with the Democrats' lack of ability to play chess. Because that is what the Republicans play. Dirty. They cheat at it. But it's still chess. They're letting you take out the guards. Now, if you want to say anything at all, It should be done by Cuomo. He should come out and say, while the investigation is going on, I will be stepping aside and my lieutenant will be running New York. I'm not resigning. I am stepping to the side until the investigation is done. Because you damn well better believe they've got a thick book on his lieutenant. And they will swivel and go after her because they don't want a Democrat controlling New York. Remember, there's a a lot of lawsuits for the previous president in the state of New York. And only a governor can pardon someone for state crimes. Chess people, chess. Have a good evening. Just a little conversation with T. Remember, trust the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Night.